This is a long document with different sections. Section 1. Section 2. Section 3. Each section needs its own header. To do that, I'm going to click on the show hide. I'm going to replace any page breaks with a next page section break. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to insert a break, a next page section break. We can see there it is, section break, next page. Remove the next one. There. Remove. I want a break. I want a section break. Right, there it is. I'll go to the beginning. Here, I would like a header. I want a different header for each section. Open the header area, double click. I want that header, and I want it to be blue. Select it. Blue. It's going to match the color of the text. I'm going to scroll down to the next section. Here, I want a red header, and it must say header for section 2. Now, in the header footer, design, I'm going to click there and I'm going to take the link to the previous section off. I'm going to change that to two and I'm going to make that red. Let's have a look. Go up. They had different headers for the different sections. And the reason for that is because I broke the link. I broke the link. It's not selected. Let me go down to the next section. Next section will be green. Here. Take off the link to the previous section. Change that to three. Make it green. Take off the show hide. Close the header area. And let's start at the beginning and check. Header for section one in the first page. Second page, header for section one. Third page, header for section one, that's correct. Now we go to section two. Yes. The headers are different for the different sections because we deselected link to previous section. And that is how we get different headers for different sections.